Peter Tuz, one stock you like in the Chase Growth Fund is Danaher. Now, people like the Paul acquisition. People like the restructuring. So I guess there's a lot to like here. Yeah, uh, you're right, Greg. Uh, good to be here. Danaher is a conglomerate that many of your listeners know. Uh, we like the stock uh, for exactly those reasons. We believe the recent uh, acquisition of Paul coupled with the recent announcement of the split into a life sciences company and an industrial company is going to enable the company to grow earnings approximately 11% per year for the next three or four years. We're growth stock investors. We're always looking for that. Um, it is selling for basically a market multiple at this time, and we believe it should be a better than market multiple because of its long, good history of growth by acquisition. And you're also bullish on Alliance Data. Now, they're in the credit card loyalty business. They're in everyone's wallets. Why should they be in my portfolio as well? Uh, Greg, again, growth is hard to find these days. And Alliance Data has put together a string of 15 to 18 percent earnings growth going back three, four, five years, uh, largely by acquiring um, private label credit card uh, business, as well as uh, acquiring niches in the consumer loyalty business. Again, we think 15 to 18 percent growth going forward is a good number to use. Uh, hard to find these days. Stock's 300. I think it could be 350 in a couple years. You also like Stiefel Financial. Now, the big banks so far in 2015 have been fairly flat, but the smaller and mid-sized players like Stiefel have done very well. Can this continue? Uh, yes, Greg, we believe it can continue. Obviously, Stiefel's business is tried to the equity markets, the credit markets, markets in general, but the company has done a very good job of growing by acquisition over the last three or four years. Picked up part of Leg Mason, Keith Briette and Woods, and most recently Stern Agee out of Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, should earn about 310 this year, we believe, 380 next year, we believe, and you know, barring any kind of market downturn of a, of a significant nature, we think the stock could uh, go 10, 15 percent higher from where it is today. Finally, you're a fan of community health. Now, the hospital business has been booming because of Obamacare. Can this continue? Uh, yes, Greg. Again, we believe that community health growth can continue. Community health is a good growth via acquisition story. Uh, last year, the company acquired HMA, uh, boosted its hospital count from about 160 to 200, um, and uh, now owns 30,000 hospital beds around the country. As you said, Obamacare and you know, whatever has led to a big increase in usage. We believe that continues despite what might happen at the legal circles with Obamacare th this week or by the end of June. All right. Thanks a lot, Peter. Okay. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching The Street.